is the creator. You see, God's the creator of heaven and earth. We can bounce down in Psalm 115 to verse 15, and it says, May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. It's just that gentle reminder of his qualifications, of who he is. You see, the one that made everything. Remember, what's it say in Genesis 1-1? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That creation was what they call ex nihilo. It's out of nothing. So I think that all true worship starts there, that he's the creator. In fact, here's just a side point. I think one of the reasons our culture, America, and even our world is in the mess we're in right now is because we mess up that basic fundamental truth, that God's creator and we are, in fact, the creation. We live in his world according to his law. Think about how much man tries to trump the, the law or the purposes of God. I think about just something simple like gravity. I know if I jump, I'm going to land. And we send people to space where they can float around for a little while. But guess what? When they come back to Earth, although they were without gravity for a little while, the moment they pass into our atmosphere, what happens? Gravity. It exists. Man tries to trump the Creator. The creation tries to jump in front of the Creator. I think the moral insanity we face now is because of that exact fact. We want to undo pregnancy with abortion. Right? We've got transgender madness and homosexual madness and all those things that I don't want to harp on this morning. But in re reality, that is the creation rejecting and pushing back against the creator. You see, there's a cool quote from A.W. Tozer that says this. It says, there are two fundamental categories. And pay attention to these. There are two fundamental categories. God and all that's not God. God and everything else. So unless you can put yourself somehow in this category... You belong over here. 